Hi, and welcome to this short instruction video for the Network Diagram Template. This template will allow you to create in a sim simple way a network diagram, but the tool is flexible enough to use it also in many other ways. In the main sheet, we have a few sections. First of all, we have an input table where we fill out all our information. The advanced settings is hidden at the first run. So to see it, I will click show settings button. Plus here in the center, there's a chart area where the diagram will be drawn. So let's turn off our instruction first and clear the chart. I also want to clear the table. This tool offers two different visual options for the final result. We can use the icons that will represent each component of the diagram or we can use a simple shapes. All the icons and shapes are visible in the shapes list. In here. As you can see, each icon has its own name assigned. Later, we will come back in here, but first let's just start from choosing one of the options. I will choose icons. When I choose it, I have a drop-down list allowing me to choose each element from the catalog that we have just seen a moment ago. So let's create some simple home network diagram. I can use also the drop-down list. I didn't choose any parent for my laptop or a smartphone. They will be connected via Wi-Fi, but if I want, I can also connect it later. Let's draw it first. Yes, I definitely want a Wi-Fi here. Actually, I want also additional connection between modem and my Wi-Fi. So I will just click it here and I will add additional connection. But what will happen if there is no icon that I want to use? For example, I want to add Docker. and I want to connect it to the cloud. As you can see, it's just simple shape. Okay, let's change this diagram a bit. I don't like uh, the position where chosen. I want it to be here and I want my Wi-Fi to be much lower. Now I click fit to grid and all my positions are fixed to the grid. But most important, their positions are remembered. So now if I click redraw, the positions will be still here. As you can see, the reset button has changed its color. This way you can see if the placement of each shape is fixed by you or it's just simply calculated. We can reset it and everything comes back to the first point. I want to change it anyway. I also want to add a label. It can be helpful when we are using icons, but we want to add some information. In the icons, we are not able to add any text, but we can use a label. And let's redraw it. Now I will change it a little because those labels are too close. One more time, fit to grid. And my label stayed here. It's very simple just to fix it. I can just click fix and my labels will be placed accordingly. And now let's check one of the really cool features. So I have my docker here, but it doesn't have the icon. 
I want to add it. Let's make it. So I'm going here to the list. I need to unlock first the sheet. And now I will just add the shape from my computer. I'm adding the icon that I have found before, but if you want, you can also add it from the shapes, from the icons that you have available in here. I will add it. Let's, cha let's change the size and place it in the correct cell. The only one thing you have to remember is to do not overlap some of other cells with your new icon. So I will move it a little bit lower so it's in its own specific cell. And let's name it. And try, does it work? Perfect. One more important thing that I should mention here is how to create a loops. So calculations are based on a parent-child relationship. Due to that, making a standard loop where the child uh, is at the same time parent of some higher node would not really work. Because of that, we just need to use an additional connection col column, like we did it already in here. Let's connect our console to our cloud. Great, so now I will change to the other option and we will ch check the difference between icons, child start and the basic shapes. Since I have used the old names that are not existing in the list of shapes, we don't see any difference between the shapes. However, I want to see the names inside the shapes. That's why I will write them all to my text column. If you remember, in our catalog, we have four tables. The last fourth table contains the shapes, and this is where the names are coming from in, in my new drop downs. I will change the database maybe to a disk, and I will check if it's available in here. Yes, it is. I will just randomly use the shapes just to show how they work. Enter drawing. Here are two extra buttons that I haven't been using so far. The add buttons. They are allowing us to add some shapes despite of the table. If I use add parent, it does not expect me to select any previous shape. I will just add new laptop. But what is the difference with the second button? Add node. When I click it, it, sa it says select the parent box. Okay, so I will select the laptop and add mouse. I don't like where it was placed. Let's redraw it and fix the positions. A newly created shapes are also shown in the table. I can also change their IDs uh, to the one I more prefer. And I will redraw it. As you can see, nothing has changed. The ID can be modifi modified. Okay, so most of the functionalities we actually already know. But what we have in our advanced settings section? We can modify the distances and the sizes of our shapes, but also we can modify the colors of the shapes, 
connectors and the font. Let's just check those options with some much simpler diagram. We don't have the 10, of course. Great. I will make it a bit different. Okay. Perfect. And now let's check the options. We can choose between PDF, PNG and JPEG option and just export it to our new file. Cool. The PNG is a nice option. It keeps a background transparent. So if you want to use it to the chart, this chart to some presentation later, it is a nice option to choose. In addition, we can sort the table just by using the built-in properties and just the sort list. It is not recommended, however, to remove or input new rows. The template will keep working. However, it is much safer to just sort the table. If you want to remove some empty lines, also the much recommended is just sorting especially that you could see it is not necessary to fill out all the data in some logical order. We can add new items at any point and connect it to any of the previous or the next shapes. I hope this video was helpful. That is all for today. Thank you for watching and do not forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.